You've probably seen little free libraries around town or in your neighborhood. Those libraries inspired an art teacher in Brooklyn Park to try a similar project, bringing art supplies to the community. As WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell shows us, her motivation came when she saw a real need during the start of the pandemic. Next to Birch Grove Elementary sits an old newspaper stand. The word art in several different languages. But it's not just a box. Here. It's great. It's filled with opportunities for kids like Avery and Sydney. A pack of markers, a pack of crayons, color pencils. To let their imaginations run wild. I feel relaxed and happy when I make art. March of 2020, we were told, okay, now we got to go teach online. As a visual art teacher, I'm like, how do I do that? Art teacher Corey Brown crafted up the idea for an art exchange. A lot of my students, when they're at home, they don't have equal access to art supplies as they would if they were here at school. What I saw is they're, they're falling out of love with this subject that they very much love. Using donations, she puts together art supply kits and refills the box daily. I really like it because it's free. You can get whatever you want from it. Avery named the Birch Grove box George Bobcat Rocket. The remembrance of George Floyd. And then the Bobcat is the uh, school mascot. And then I have no idea where I came up with the rocket part. <laughs> the second art exchange is at Palmer Lake Elementary. I hand painted all of them. The bigger goal, I think, would be to take this mobile, so getting uh, an old bus and converting it into like a, a mobile art store. Thank you. I'm happy you could come up here. Giving kids access to express <laughs> themselves after a few tough years. In Brooklyn Park, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Brown buys all of the art supplies on her own using donations. If you'd like to help out or learn more, you can find the project on Instagram. Just search MN Art Exchange. That's wonderful. Clever it? idea. It really is. Yeah, good for the kids.